garage. Well, we're here with Elite Tuning School, Tune School, Elite Tuned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't no, get, there's, get yeah, got to get, gotta get it right. So give me a rundown. You guys are fairly new to the market as far as the tuning schools go. Mm -hmm. it is, and I've taken some of your um, free courses that you offered out there, signed up for it, stuff like that. Give us some insight as to upcoming classes, what you've got going on, all that fun stuff. Sure. So, yes, we're relatively new in the in the schooling market, but we've been tuning cars collectively, Mike and I, for, you know, 30 years collectively. So we've tuned for some of the you know biggest shops around the world, um, you know, 30, 40 shops in total, and we still do to this day. I mean, even last year, I mean, we tuned upwards of 550, 600 cars just last year. So um, what prompted us to create the school was, you know as well as I do, there's no real... Ed formal education to learning how to do this. You buy a laptop, you buy a cable, and all of a sudden you're a tuner, right? right. Well, unfortunately, as, as the world keeps evolving, cars keep evolving, these are getting more and more and more complicated, guys are lost. I mean, you, you come into this game nowadays and it's you don't even know which way to go. So. Well, there's a lot of guys out there that are relying on books that are 5, 10, 15 years old and weren't good in the first place sure. between you and I. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why we all do books. Yeah, yeah, and that's, yeah. So I, I was excited to see uh, an organized platform coming to market video style. Yeah, so and, and the foundation of our school is you're getting you're you're getting guys that actively tune day in and day out in this market. I mean, we hold a plethora of world records across various platforms, six gen ZL ones, C seven Z O sixes, naturally aspirated C sixes, I mean you name it, we've probably held a record at some point. So we wanted to uh, pass that knowledge down to a schooling type level where you guys can kind of learn from you know from the ground up so we've got courses that you know start you at a basic level and again you know as well as I do you can understand a tuning you know tuning an engine but you got the software to yeah. contend with now too another roadblock so if yeah if it's it's another roadblock so if you don't know what the tables do and why you're changing them again you're kind of pissing in the wind yep. here so you know we break it down to what the tables are why you're changing them and give you guys a good basis to build off of until we get into our advanced courses so our basic courses are going to basically allow you to uh, tune any bolt-on cars pretty effectively uh, and then moving into the advanced course will cover you know when we start getting into heads cams magnuson 2650s you know big forced induction setups methanol you know a lot of the stuff that you know race yeah, it's 30 years of trial and error between right. mike and i trying to figure out how to do this stuff race fuels um, and, and and take a lot of the you know, take a lot of the hours and hours of beating your head against the wall in a dyno trying to figure it out and having a proven concept. So I heard the word fifth gen whenever I rolled up here and settle down Camaro guys, we're not talking about fifth gen Camaros. Talking about the fifth gen ECUs, you guys have a uh, class out there that get, dives into torque tuning. Sure, sure. We've got you know a GM. We, we've got a GM Gen 5 basic course, which, again, that's going to walk you through just about every pertinent table that you're going to need to you're going to need to know in order to effectively tune a Gen 5 ECU. So that's going to be your C7Zs, your 6 Gen ZL1s, your 6 Gen SS, you know your Cadillacs, um, you know v, V3. So it's going to cover. And I mean that'll even roll you into the Global B stuff somewhat. Uh, with some minor differences, but um, you're gonna you're gonna effectively be able to tune basically any of those cars with bolt-ons after taking our basic course. Excellent. And you brought up Global B. Sure. Okay. You guys getting into the Global B neural networking side of stuff. So I mean, collectively w with us, we've probably tuned more C8s outside of Lingenfelder, you know, and we're good friends with those guys over there. Wow. But you know, collectively, we've done 30 plus, you know, high-powered C8s. So yeah, we've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good handle on the global B you know, trucks too. Good because I won't be taking that course. I'm getting ready to uh, do my. T I'm, I'm throwing a whipple on my 2023 Silverado. So. So I mean, the global B stuff is going to be released likely sometime next year, maybe 2025. There's a lot to learn on the global B stuff. Yeah. So. We we, you know, you may or may not be aware, but the C8s were still locked out of the TCM, so we're having to really, really, uh, you know, fight the TCM side of things when we start. Torque management's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, it's even worse on the dual clutch stuff. So yeah, we're 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 in a lot of the R&D phase of the C8s. The trucks are pretty, you know, they're they're a little bit easier to get through because we, you know, it's a normal eight and ten speed trans, sometimes six speed that we're still working with. So, 
yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future. We're gonna, you know, we've we've done GM. Uh, we've we've got some good uh, S550 and, and Ford content, EcoBoost, uh, F150s. Dodge will be around the corner. So, you know, we're, we actively tune a lot of these, but you know, we, we're not going to release content. We're pretty until we're pretty happy with right. you know its functionality and the fact that it's going to work. So, right. again, it doesn't do us any good if you if if you take our course and you're not you know it doesn't work. Right. Um, right. Everything that we do and we publish. We are 100% certain it's going to work. Excellent. Well, listen, Ed, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I ran into you here at PRI. Well, put, yeah. put some faces to the name, and, and I'll be checking out some more of your classes soon. Good deal, man. Appreciate it.